We are living through the decline and fall of the American empire. The fiat dollar increase acts like a petrodollar extortion tax on the world as U.S. consumers exchange paper fiat for tangible goods and services. According to usdebtclock.org, the interest on the debt is tilde $4 trillion, GDP is tilde $21 trillion. Debt to GDP is 145%. No government in the history of man has ever paid back that debt once it rises above 200%, it is mathematically impossible. I'm wondering when the price of gas will pass $5 per gallon. Yet for some strange reason some people think the dollar is exempt from all other fiat currencies and will never suffer the same fate as every other fiat currency ever created. Yes other countries will simply refuse to use dollars for trade and coupled with the Fed, printing dollars into the quadrillions in the not too distant future the dollar will lose reserve currency status and Americans will be introduced to actual grinding poverty. The US dollar debts held a broad decrease in actual worth just as petrodollar inflation increases foreign demand for petrodollars to conduct trade. Organizations and individuals first in line to acquire new fiat get to use it to increase their wealth and acquire assets. The rich get richer and own more while the rest of the world becomes impoverished and owns less. What's not to like? The dollar began its slow death on December 23, 1913. On that infamous night, our traitorous representatives turned over the issuance of our nation's currency to an international cabal of usurers. These counterfeiting kings have patiently bided their time through the decades to this critical point today where absolute power and control over finance and thus, politicians, is within their grasp. Their ultimate goal is to enslave all non-chosen mankind into debt servitude to the end of time through communism, pandemics, wars, digital currencies and a controlled burn of morality and ethics through their equal control over all forms of media and education. Do as I did decades ago, turn off their mind bilge. Ignore their advertising. Reconnect with the classical masterpieces of your ancestors. Educate your children in truth and instill pride in their heritage. Be the man or woman that would make the sacrifices of your ancestors worthwhile. To not do so is to condemn your progeny to a new dark age. Sadly, most Americans are so stupid when it comes to money they don't know the first thing about inflation, etc. Most likely don't even know what the Fed even is. But hey, ask them about the latest TikTok meme or reality show and they can tell you all about that. If the US dollar loses reserve currency status, this place will look like the 1930s with the shabby clothes, hungry children and wandering homeless looking for places to work for food. Get your mealy meal bowls and water buckets ready, the UN trucks are coming. Having the reserve currency means buying imports with keystrokes on Jerome's desktop. Gone. Now you'll need money. We are already at the point of no return. My only worry is that we are gonna run out of trees for that paper. Print that shish. T. I want to see how well their plan works out, because I think we are all in for a big surprise. So what when happen if the dollar collapses? Why are interest rates staying so low? What is happening with the massive increases in consumer, government and business debt? What is the fate of the US dollar? How can you protect yourself and your family during the upcoming crisis? What will happen if the dollar collapses? What will happen if the dollar collapses? Why a complete economic collapse in the US is unlikely even if the dollar loses 100% of its value? This video is opinion based with likely scenarios derived from logic based situations. Discussion includes doomsayer fears, logical outcomes, and a good example of how currency value is subjective. It is well known that the US Federal Reserve continues to print money to pay down debts owed to countries such as China. It is also known that the Fed printed billions to bail out banks and create stimulus plans to boost the economy. There are a lot of experts on the internet and in media that say this devalues the US dollar both locally and globally. Technically their claim is correct. Each dollar used to be backed by actual gold. That backing was removed in the 1970s and ever since then money could basically just be printed up. Because money's value is only as good as the economy's belief in it, the value can disappear because there is no gold backing the paper money. Once confidence in the dollar is lost, the US economy will completely collapse. A few popular predictions are being made across the internet and in the media by experts. The dollar vanished and now gold is the only accepted currency. The concept cited is hyperinflation. When the dollar collapses, we will be thrown into a state of chaos and lawlessness. 
Money will be burned like in Germany a few decades ago due to lost value. People will steal and commit other crimes to stay alive and with no economy, there will be no one working to maintain the infrastructure. Gold and silver will become the standard once again. Which is oddly suspicious, because when you Google anything about the dollar collapsing, you get a lot of sites trying to sell you gold and gold trading schemes. Since other countries are trying to move the world reserve currency away from the US dollar due to decreasing value, the US will be left high and dry by the other countries. Countries will stop lending to us and the interest on the existing loans will default. What is likely to happen if the US dollar collapses, based on something known as logic? Welcome back to the Atlantis Report. You are here for your daily dose of the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Please take a second to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to also hit the notification bell. Thank you. Here are a few possible situations. 1. The US dollar collapses and there is a brief time of chaos. However the US chief export is consumption, we consume the highest amount of resources and goods in the world. Countries that once sold to us can no longer sell if there is no money, so the dollar could in theory be propped up by another currency. Imagine a dollar backed by the yen, the euro, or once again by gold. 2. There are over 300 million consumers in the US other economies would suffer if US citizens suddenly lost all of their money and their spending power. The US could adopt another currency or begin consuming using multiple currencies and abandon the dollar. Financially, it makes little sense to let a huge consumer base collapse and vanish so global companies and countries that export often to us will step in. 3. Like a repo man coming to collect his due, the countries that the US government owes large amount of debt to will come in to collect their payment. Of course what happens if someone can't pay? Things get taken away. China. A country who the US owes billions to could technically lay claim to the US so we would become a part of another country altogether. As an interesting side note, some local towns in America have started to print their own currency that is traded and accepted among merchants within the town. This shows an extremely important concept in the debate of what happens if the dollar fails. The townspeople in these towns aren't backing their local money with gold or other currency, rather they back it with their confidence. The local money has zero actual value. The only reason it is useful for purchases in the town is because businesses and people that accept it agree that it has some value. They can accept it for a sale and take it to another accepting business to trade for goods and services. This experiment is a microcosm of the national economy and even the global economy, paper money's primary value exists only because the economy continues to believe in its value. They can accept it for a sale and take it to another accepting business to trade for goods and services. This experiment is a microcosm of the national economy and even the global economy, paper money's primary value exists only because the economy continues to believe in its value. Technically you could pick up an orange and claim that oranges are equivalent to what was once $100. If a lot of people also believed it, you'd be buying and selling in oranges instead of dollars. In the end one key concept came to mind. As long as you have some currency that the economy sees as having value you can continue to make and spend money. Does it matter if that currency is the US dollar, a euro, gold, or an orange? This ISNT 2009. This is reset. It was always going to be reset. That's always been their most dangerous time. This is the first with the internet. Countless nations attacked with exposed Western-funded terrorists, exposed color revolutions and now they attack the planet to cover their back. Billions know already and the empire is weak and challenged by big players. Good luck with that. Cashless society means the end of our privacy. Cashless payments are on the rise. They are fast, easy and convenient. Worldwide, cashless transactions have become the norm. All over the Western world banks are shutting down cash machines and branches. They are trying to push you into using their digital payments and digital banking infrastructure. Sweden is on the verge of going completely cashless. India and China are following the trail. Mobile payment and cashless stores are popping up across America, between stores like Amazon Go and payment options like Apple Pay. Using these services requires access to the banking system, namely a bank account and a credit card. Your bank and credit card companies have quite a file on you. They know how often you go out to eat, how often you drink, how often you fill up your gas tank, along with the time and location of all these activities. Cash is all but dead, 
and with that comes a digital trail of all your purchases watched over by private companies who don't exactly have the best security record. But we can't say nobody warned us. Cashless society seems like an inevitable progression into an easier, faster and more convenient future. But this comes at a huge of cost of privacy and anonymity of cash payments, and freedom from control over people's funds. A cashless society brings dangers. People without bank accounts will find themselves further marginalized, disenfranchised from the cash infrastructure that previously supported them. There are also poorly understood psychological implications about cash encouraging self-control while paying by card or a mobile phone can encourage spending. And a cashless society has major surveillance implications. Cashless makes the fraud, counterfeiting, and theft that is the banking system much easier. No paper trail. This was the Atlantis report. Please like. Share. Leave me a comment. Subscribe. And please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels, I do upload videos there too. You'll find the links in the description box. You will also find a PayPal link if you want to make a donation. Thank you wholeheartedly to all those of you who have already donated. Stay safe and healthy friends.